through you. This, this has got to be one of the greatest college football rivalries around, and I, I guess what we said earlier about both teams having good kickers proved the point. The team that won the toss decided to take the, kick, the win. Now you see the Texas flag uh, being rolled up, taken off the field. The OU Roughnecks about to leave the field, and right straight up the middle of the stadium. You can see on one side it's all orange, on one side it's all red. The 72nd meeting between these two great universities. The series all in favor of Texas. The overall series, 42 Texas wins, 26 for Oklahoma, three ties. Of course, Oklahomans come right back and say, well, yes, but we've won five of the last six. And last year, of course, a six to six tie. And Somehow I'll tell you, it seems funny. Excuse me, Jerry. Well, Chris, that six to six tie, I think, it probably has made this game even more important in the eyes of all these people, especially for Thomas Lott. And then again, remember that this is Earl Campbell's last football game against Oklahoma as a Texas Longhorn. You know, you were talking earlier about how Thomas Lott made his first start a year ago. Well, Mark McBath has never played in a Texas Oklahoma football game, and it's an entirely different situation. You run faster, you get hit harder. It's a, really an entirely new experience. You know, we were down in Austin Monday, and Brad Shearer told me a great comment. He said, you are so tired before the... Uh, you know, if you come off the field the first half, you can barely get up the ramp. And then as you come down again, you can hardly wait to get up. It's just that kind of game. Uber Von Schauben, you see him right there. He'll be kicking off for Oklahoma. University of Texas with all kinds of speed back deep. There you see on the far side is Alfred Jackson. On the uh, near side will be number uh, 28, 26, Johnny Lamb Jones. That's a couple of speedy youngsters. Oh, it is indeed. If you remember last year, Chris, the Texas had that kind of tricky handoff play. Well, they no longer do that. This is just a, a straight kickoff return. And this Oklahoma-Texas game is underway. Ron Shaman is going to kick it right out of here. Texas football, first and 10 at the 20-yard line. If you'll notice, Earl Campbell will always be the last one to the backfield. He takes his time like Jim Brown used to to get to that huddle. Now they strike up the eyes of Texas. The man missed their cue. <laughs> there you look at the Sooner defense. Kinlaw, 74, Phil Tabor. There was a question about him this week. He hurt his knee in practice, but he's out there ready to go. Dave Hutchins, 70. We're on the front line, so long. And here come the Longhorns. We'll set the offensive backfield for you in a moment. Doc McBath, 17, the quarterback. They'll start from the eye. Earl Campbell, fullback. Ham Jones, the eye back. The pitch to Campbell, number 20. Out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Run out of there by number 26. Barry Bergen, number 28, George Cumbie, and there's Earl Campbell. And again, you'll see how slow he is. Texas usually waited till late in the first quarter. There you see the starting backfield. Mark McBath, the quarterback, number 17, starting his first Oklahoma-Texas game. Ham Jones, a healthy Ham Jones, a healthy Earl Campbell, and the great speecher, the Olympic gold medal winner, Lamb Jones, Johnny Lamb Jones at the flanker. Mish is in now for Jackson as a split in. Texas, again, the I formation. Second and eight. This is Campbell. He wants to throw. Hit. Intercepted by Dave Hutchins of Oklahoma. Back to 14. Oklahoma football. David Hudgens, number 70. Intercepted. The Earl Campbell passes. Steve Ross, Earl was hit just when he tried to throw it. They've been practicing that for quite a while this year, Chris. And uh, Johnny Lamb Jones was open. Here we, here we have it. They've never used it before. Johnny Lamb Jones is open, but Reggie Mathis gets to Earl before he can really cock his arm and throw. So the Sooners have the first big break in this football game. Oklahoma first and 10 at the Texas 13. Hand off goes to David Overstreet, starting in place of the injured Billy Sims. Overstreet, a freshman out of Big Sandy, Texas, will set that Oklahoma offensive backfield for you. Steve McMichael made the tackle for Texas. This Texas offensive uh, defensive unit, the first unit, of course, Steve, has not been scored on. Well, but it's also a very young one, Chris. There's only two seniors, Brad Shearer and Morgan Copeland, starting, and so it's really untested. Lot the quarterback, Peacock, Overstreet, the halfbacks, Kenny King at fullback. King is number 30. Oh, Oklahoma jumps across there, and it's going to be Sam Clappin, the right tackle, who made the big move first. Oklahoma had a second and nine at the 12. 
So it'll cost the Sooners five. And uh, Jerry, mistakes like that seem to happen in this ball game. Well, this is the first time for Sammy Jack to play in this football game. And I know he's a little bit on the nervous side. And uh, of course, that's going to happen to somebody that the first time they play in this ball game. You cannot imagine. You know, you were talking a minute ago about the ramp and how you have trouble walking up it at the half. Well, let me tell you, they say that's the most famous ramp in the world. And these, uh, these football players to walk into this stadium is just awesome. It is second and 14, Oklahoma. The ball at the 17-yard line. Kenny King loses the football. There's a scramble for it at the 15. Texas says they have it. They do. Longhorns football. Free safety, Johnny Johnson, number 27, made the recovery. There you see 99, Steve McMichael, who made the hit on him coming off the field. McMichael, the hit. Credit the fumble recovery to Johnny Johnson. And Texas fights right back and stops Oklahoma. So two turnarounds, one for each team. And we're right back just about where we started, uh, right after the opening kickoff, Chris. That's one of the problems that Oklahoma's had this year. They've had some problems in holding on to the football. But now we'll see what happens if Texas lines up. Alfred Jackson splits to the bottom of the screen. Lamb Jones is up the top out of your picture now as Macbeth. Perrins looks to split backfield behind him. Hands off, and with the handoff is Cam Jones, number 25, hit by nose guard Reggie Kinlaw, 62. Watch Reggie Kinlaw. He'll make a lot of unassisted tackles all by himself from that nose guard spot. This is a very interesting young man. About uh, three weeks ago, they told him that he was hurt, that they were going to operate on his knee, and he said, no, sir, you're not going to cut my knee open again. I'm going to play football for the University of Oklahoma. Watch him today. Jackson this time up to the top of the screen. Sam Jones at the bottom. Nick Bath, second down, nine, Texas from the 15-yard line. Earl Campbell, short yardage there. 62 again, Reggie Kinlaw, 85, linebacker Darrell Hunt combined to make the tackle. You know, Chris, earlier in the week, Coach Akers expressed concern because of his offensive line, which has a few new people in it, really hadn't been tested by a quick, aggressive, big defense. Running against Virginia is one thing. Running against Oklahoma is quite another, as Texas is finding out. Well, we have had a pass interception. It was intercepted by Oklahoma. A fumble recovery, that by Texas. And it's all been inside the Texas 20-yard line so far. 13 minutes left. Opening quarter. Third down, eight Texas. The ball on the 16. The Horns need to get to the 24 for the first down. Mark McBath, quarterback. On the option, handoff. And just short of the first down, Ham Jones, who just... First over the right side, Darrell Hunt, 85, the linebacker. Zach Henderson, 19, Perry Berger, 26 on the tackles. Texas just short of the first down, Steve. And again, uh, it's a punting situation, and Coach Akers also expressed concern about that because Russell Erklaven did have a punt block earlier this year. Well, he has not had to punt many times with that great Texas offense. He's back there now inside his 10-yard line. Deep for Oklahoma, number 11. You saw him there, Freddie Nixon. Good snap, no rush by Oklahoma, and Erksleben kicks a uh, short drilling kick. Nixon has it on the run at the 50 to the 46-yard line. Nixon caught it on the run, returned it about seven yards, and Oklahoma starts its second possession again in Texas territory. I don't believe Russell uh, really got his foot into that one. It was kind of a low squib squibbler, and uh, then uh, Freddie Nixon took it on the dead run. There's timeout on the field. The score, Oklahoma nothing, Texas nothing. The Chrysler Styling Center. Oklahoma with their second possession of the game at the Texas 46. 78 degrees at the Cotton Bowl. Wind north, northeast, 10 to 20. Oklahoma has the wind at its back now. Thomas Lopp to the 40-yard line. Picks up six yards. Tackle by Ricky Churchman, number eight. Strong safety for Texas. Part of the crowd here at the Cotton Bowl. And once again, as uh, every year it seems, a sellout crowd. It has been held in Dallas here at the Cotton Bowl since 1929, been a fixture of the great Texas State Fair that is now underway. Lot, the Oklahoma quarterback, second down four Sooners. We have yet to have a first down in this game. We do now, and Kenny King across to the Texas 34. First down, Oklahoma. Johnny Johnson, 27. Ricky Churchman, number eight, tackled for the University of Texas. And Kenny King, who's had some shoulder problems, looks like he may be bothered a bit again. He hurt his shoulder against Kansas. And Jerry, look at the way he's holding his arm there. Yeah, this he's is, going out. I, they, uh, they've had to take Kenny out on uh, during the first part of the uh, last two or three games. And it'll be Vicky Ray Anderson, a young uh, a junior. And uh, he's a super good uh, uh, fullback. Oklahoma wishbone, first and 10. Off second man David Overstreet 
Big Sandy, Texas, Steve McMichael, number 99, makes the tackle. Chris, the basic alignment for Texas in defense is the same as it has been in the past. It's a little more aggressive. You'll see the linebackers uh, move a little bit more and the defensive backs rush up very quickly. Really no gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10, Oklahoma. Football, Texas, 34-yard line. Steve Rhodes with the bottom of the screen. Lot and trouble, down he goes. Great defensive play. Big side linebacker, Mark Marginoni, six foot, 210 sophomore, out of Kennedy, Texas. I think that Elvis Peacock slipped down. He was uh, supposed to uh, take out a uh, number 42. Uh, Mark, say it for us. Martinoni. Okay. He slipped down, and Martinoni came right over the top of him, and also uh, Tommy Lott uh, tripped on uh, Elvis Peacock. One of three Texas linebackers, and they're good ones. It is third down 12, Oklahoma now at the 36. They need to get to the Texas 24 for the first down. Lott, the quarterback, he will not make it. Down at the 30-yard line, Ricky Church for number eight, Brad Shears, 77. Combined to make the tackle for Texas. Uh, Brad is one of the few seniors on the defense, and he's one of those players who has his big games against the big teams. He seems to get especially up for Oklahoma, A&M, Texas Tech. It is fourth down and six. The ball at the 30, and here is Uwe von Schaumann. He'll put his tee down on the 36-yard line. But Hebert will hold Von Schaumann to attempt a 46-yard field goal. It's got the distance. It's good. Oklahoma takes the lead. A 46-yard field goal by Uwe Von Schaumann. And Oklahoma jumps out in front of Texas, 3 to nothing. Nine minutes, 28 seconds left in the first quarter here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Some of the Oklahoma cheerleaders on the sidelines. And again, that uh, first-string Texas defense does not give up a touchdown, Steve. They haven't given up. They've, they've shown, as I said, the more aggressiveness this year. Uh, for instance, three linebackers, they'll tell you. Uh, Lance Taylor has a chance to be a, a superstar, but as a group, they're a very balanced, very aggressive group. Von Schellen will kick off for Oklahoma after the field goal. I in over end and out of the field to play. Over the end zone, there you see Johnny Lamb Jones, number 26, waiting to get his hands on the football, but it's tough when Von Schaumann has that kind of wind advantage. So Texas, once again, will start at its own 20-yard line, and certainly in the uh, first quarter, the early going, Texas has had no kind of field position at all. We've got a flag down here, and we may come back to try to kick this one over. I'm sure Texas would like to have them kick it again. They certainly would because the They've had the ball inside their 20 now the entire first quarter every time they've had the ball. And, uh, they'd like to see Johnny Lamb or Alfred get some running room. I don't really think that's going to make a whole lot of difference. No. Because the, uh, the wind is at uh, Von Schaumann's back. And of course, Von Schaumann and Erzleben both have the ability to kick it through the uprights. The Oklahoma scoring drive, 60 yards on six plays, and then a field goal by William Von Schaumann. The Sooners lead it 9-28, left on the clock in the first quarter. The Sooners lead it by a score of 3 to nothing. Chris? Delvon Schaumann takes it back to the 35-yard line and will kick off from there. At the top of the screen, number two, Alfred Jackson. Bottom of the screen, number 26, Olympic sprinter, Johnny Lamb Jones. Von Schaumann kicks it off. This one will be run back. He'll get a chance here. Johnny Lamb Jones to 10 and blocked off his feet at the 12-yard line. Tony and Jones, number eight, the sophomore at a lot in Eisenhower. Six foot two, 188 pounds. And it really hit him. Here's the replay on him, and uh, Johnny Lamb Jones is very hard to bring down in the open field. This is a great tackle. That's one way to stop him, is to clip him down. Well, Texas, again, with very poor field position. The Longhorns, first and 10. The football at the Horns' own 13-yard line. They have not been across their own 30 yet in the first quarter. Near backfield, behind Mark McBath. Jones and Campbell. McBath. Keeps it himself. He'll get short yardage. One of the Oklahoma players leaves with the football, but they will Mark McBath down. Mark McBath is on down, yes. And he is down. Mark is a sophomore for Corpus Christi King. He's the better runner of the two, or their option. George Cumbie, 28, was one of them over there to make the hit for Oklahoma. And Mark McBath, you see right there, the fine young Texas quarterback. It looks like it might be a knee. 
has an 8.4 yard rushing average is uh, thrown for three touchdowns and he is going to be helped off the field and boy there's a there's a big blow. blow. Fortunately, John Orney has played quite a bit this year. He's the better passer of the two. He has the howitzer for a right arm. He and Alfred Jackson, as a matter of fact, set a school record with an 88-yard touchdown pass. Now, what a thrill for John Orney. He's playing in his hometown, Dallas, Texas, sophomore. Second, six, Texas at their own 17-yard line. And up goes to uh, Earl Campbell, gets short yardage there. Phil Tabor, 74, along with Darrell Hunt, 85, make the tackle on Campbell. Oklahoma. Jerry has had great success in containing, if one can do that, Earl Campbell in uh, the three times he's played against the Sooners. This is not, uh, I think perhaps this might be Earl's most favorite game of all that he plays, but it has not been his most successful over the past uh, three years. I know he would like to change that today. Out of the game was Alfred uh, Jackson has split in. Steve Hall has come in. Double tight end for Texas now as they put uh, Lamb Jones out of the flank into the top of the screen. Ani, run the football, knocked down, and is going to be very close to a first down for Texas. That was third down at about three. George Cumbie, 28, on the stop for Oklahoma. And the official wants to take a look at it. They'll bring the sticks in for a measurement. It'll either be first down Texas or fourth down and very short yardage. You mentioned uh, Steve Hall coming in. Chris, he's the only Oklahoma uh, Oklahoma on the Texas squad. Oh, just inches short. No, sir, this is no time to gamble this early. Especially against the wind. So the Oklahoma defense holds Texas just short on that third down play. He missed it by about six inches, uh, Chris. Earl Campbell looked longingly over at Fred Akers and held two fingers up and said, uh, you know, I, got, I think he was kind of thinking his mind, oh, come on, coach, let us go for it. No way, not this early, not on your own 23-yard line. Oklahoma 3, Texas nothing. Eight minutes, 15 seconds left in the first quarter here at the Cotton Bowl. Russell Erksleben, fourth down and one. Back inside his own 10-yard line to kick. Deep for uh, Oklahoma's a good shot there, Russell Erksleben. The nation's number one punter last year. There's Freddie Nixon, number 11 for Oklahoma, the lone man in deep punt return formation for the Sooners. Against the win, high, lazy kick. Nixon, fair catch, takes it right at the Oklahoma 38-yard line. And that's where the Sooners will start, first and 10. That was a 40-yard punt. A 40-yard punt by Russell Eric Slavin, and before Oklahoma starts, there's a timeout on the field with a score, Oklahoma 3 and Texas nothing. Tuesday, your Austin AGB people present the beautiful... Bath went down. He has just been uh, helped out of the Cotton Bowl. I doubt if he'll be back today. And uh, there he goes. And of course, behind John Arney are three freshmen who have played very, very little. Nine out of 19 passing, 152 yards. You see McBath stats as Oklahoma goes to work. Hand off to Kenny King, number 30, the fullback. Maybe gets a yard. Tough Texas defense. Steve McMichael, 99. Lance Taylor, middle linebacker, right there to make the hit. And you can see already what the Texas folks are talking about, Steve. It does seem a much more aggressive Texas defense. Especially Lance Taylor. They, he's just a sophomore from El Paso, and they feel that he can be one of the really super linebackers, maybe All-American before his third. Tim Campbell has come out 86 at defensive end. Dwight Jefferson is in to replace him for Texas. Oklahoma second and nine at its own 39. Thomas Locke hands off, and Elvis Peacock gets one, maybe two, and that's all. 99 again, Steve McMichael. He's everywhere. Boy, he's having a good day. Just a sophomore out of Fair, Texas. 6'2", 231 pounds. Nickname of Bam Bam. <laughs> I can see why after those last two plays. Third down, seven, Oklahoma. This is how you like to get the wishbone. Put him a third and long yardage, and you really have an advantage. The wishbone really relies a lot on that first down play for big yardage, and they can kind of finesse you. Steve Rhodes will come to the bottom of the screen. Oklahoma's only split receiver. Victor Hicks is tied in at the top of the screen. Oklahoma needs seven on third down. Kenny King across to the 45, but short of a first down. And Oklahoma will be forced to put it away. Kenny King was stopped by Mark Martinoni along with Brad Shearer. And a big cheer goes up to the Texas side as the Longhorn defense has stopped the Sooners at fourth down and two on the 46-yard line. Deep for Texas. Johnny Johnson's the deep man. Johnson, who's second leading punt return in the country, makes the catch at the 10-yard line, fakes a few guys to 15 to the 20. Here he goes, 25, 
30, 35, 40. Blanchelle and missed the midfield. 40, 30, the 20. He stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. All the way, but again, the official up there, Mark Lidd stepped out of bounds back at about the uh, Oklahoma 43-yard line. We'll take another look at it. And again, one of the top returners in college football, Johnny Johnson, amazingly decided to make the catch with great pressure. And watch these moves. You know, uh, Raymond Claiborne was a great punt returner for Texas. He's now with uh, New England. But the coaches will tell you that Johnson gets off to a quicker start. He may not have the speed, but uh, he got enough for a 44, on the 44-yard line. That's where he stepped out of bounds and a good call. And Von Schumann was the only man between him and uh, about a 93 or 90, uh, 97 or 98-yard touchdown run. And Von Schumann just barely got a hand on him and uh, it caused him to swerve just a little bit. But I'll tell you what, I think that's fairly obvious about the moves and the speed that Johnny Lamb's got. 44 yards uh, on the kick, 37 yards on that return by Johnny Johnson. And yes, you're right, Texas has speed everywhere. First and 10, Longhorns, great field position for the Horns now. At their own 48-yard line, John Oni, the quarterback, to Earl Campbell, runs over a couple sooners, still on his feet. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, oh. That is the Earl Campbell of old. I'll tell you, the field just isn't quite wide enough today for Texas. They said he stepped out. They're going to call him down, though, back yeah. at the 46. Let's, let's see if he is. Makes a nice move to the outside. Good shot. Yeah, I think he, yep. And his knee went down. Boy, that is some kind of effort. Earl Campbell, number one in the nation in scoring, averaging 14 points a game. Seventh in the nation in rushing, 124.7 yards a game. Bad in motion for Texas, second down and 12. And a bust. Bust. Honey had to turn the other way, and there was nobody there. And Oklahoma swarms on it. Bruce Tate, number five on John Honey, number 10. The young quarterback uh, might have come out the wrong way because there was nobody there but white shirts. You know, Akers talked about how both Ani and McBath have played, but McBath has worked with the first string more than Ani, and it looked like John went one way and everybody else went the other that time. Texas will lose four on the play. Make it third down now and 14 for the Longhorns. The ball at the Texas 44-yard line. Good shot there of the Texas huddle. Texas, of course, in the burnt orange. They are the home team today. Oklahoma in the road white. Ani, split flanker back for the first Texas pass as far as the quarterback. Ani wants to run now at the 45 at midfield. First down, Texas at the 45. To the 40. Knocked down to the Oklahoma 38. And the flag goes down. Two call, flags. Uh, they're going to call a clip on Texas on that. I'm afraid he was either Earl or Johnny Lamb flipping Oklahoma player on about the 38 yard. But here in number 33 finally made the tackle. And uh, John Ani, who's advertised as the passing quarterback, makes a great run, but flipping against Texas, and the penalty is going to hurt the Horns. That's really got to be demoralizing for Texas Longhorns. They've uh, they had uh, Johnny Lamb on a super run back off that uh, punt, and then he stepped out of bounds. Earl Campbell went down, uh, just barely touched the knee, and now on a pretty good run by quarterback John Oney. Uh, they get a clip, and you know, there's one play can make a difference in a football game. And uh, I think the momentum kind of shifted a little bit there to uh, the Texas Longhorns. And now I think maybe perhaps Oklahoma may have it back after a play like that. Hey, a correction. Third down and nine, ten. it should be. Penalty marked uh, from the spot of the foul. But instead of a first and ten inside the Oklahoma 40, the Horns have a third and nine. They need the Oklahoma 43. On he throws for it. It is intercepted by Oklahoma at the 45. Midfield, Bud Heber. Made the interception as it deflected off the intended Texas receiver, Johnny Lamb Jones, and it was intercepted by Bud Hebert. We'll take a timeout now with the score, Oklahoma 3 and Texas nothing. This is Ray Kroc, founder of McDonald's, a man who had a dream 23 years ago. I have worked for Mr. Kroc 20 years. Mr. Kroc certainly cares for the American family. He saw a need for a place you could go with your kids at a price you could afford. People are the most important thing to Ray Kroc. I don't think there's any bigger supporter of the American way of life. This week is Ray Kroc's 75th birthday. We'd like you to help celebrate on Sunday. This has thrown the ball twice today, and both have been intercepted. That one uh, deflected off Johnny Lamb Jones, intercepted by Bud Hebert, returned 17 yards, and Oklahoma has it, first and 10, at the Texas 47. Thomas Lott 
Woodson falls down after a gain of any yard. They say if the flag is down, Texas thought they had the football. Standing up with it is Dwight Jefferson, number 80. And the officials also had a flag down. So we'll have a discussion here. Texas wants the football. Well, evidently, the uh, penalties against Oklahoma with the Texas players cheering. Offensive holding. That'll cost the Sooners 15. And they'll march back down. 72,032 capacity for the 32nd consecutive year at the Cotton Bowl. And Steve and Jerry, it looks like both teams right now are uh, kind of showing that nervousness. And we'll take a look at the interception. Now, Early. John Ona is, is the much harder thrower than Mark McBath, and you'll see this ball. It's very catchable, but it goes right off of Johnny Lamb Jones' hands. McBath throws that floater. Ona tends to jump it in, and there's the interception. Fine run back. But Heber tripped on Daryl Hunt's uh, foot and went down. There wasn't, uh, I don't think he could have gone all the way. I'd like to make an apology to uh, Johnny Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> I call him Johnny Lamb John. Let's... That's a compliment with that kind of speed. Elvis Peacock gets the handoff for the Sooners on a first and 25. And Oklahoma gets again just short yardage. Steve McMichael, 99. Mark Martinoni, 42. Weak side linebacker. Jerry with Johnny Johnson, Jimmy Johnson, Johnny Ham Jones, and Johnny Lamb Jones. <laughs> it is perfectly understandable. As a look at the center offensive huddle, Steve Roach, 24. Lot number six steps into the huddle now. Here come the Sooners. Second down, 20, Oklahoma at their own 42-yard line after the holding penalty. Lott makes the pitch. Overstreet hurdles the man at midfield and is out of bounds at the 50-yard line. David Overstreet, the freshman. Johnny Johnson, the free safety, 27. Knocked him out of bounds. David Overstreet, freshman out of Big Sandy, Texas. We'll take a look at it. Watch that as the fake uh, goes to uh, Sims and then Overstreet takes the pitch out here and he will try to leap. He's apparently been watching Billy Sims, but he goes out of bounds right at the 50 yard line. Barry Switzer does not like his players to do that. And of course, we've been teasing him about the fact that maybe he's been sending his players to over the gymnastic coach for some lessons. Third down and 12, Oklahoma. Steve Rose, but down at the bottom of the screen. Thomas Lott's going to throw. Pumps once, throws for Rhodes, and way over his head at the five-yard line. Rhodes was behind Johnny Johnson, the free safety, and Ricky Churchman, number eight, the strong safety, but the ball was well overthrown. Incomplete, and Oklahoma will punt it back to Texas on fourth down and 12, 3.34. Left here in the first quarter, it is Oklahoma three and Texas nothing. Johnny Johnson, there's your friend, Rick. Back there at single safety. Glenn Blackwood is the up man for Texas. Look at Ovavon Shaman, and he'll punt with the wind at his back. High end over end, they're gonna let it bounce. High hop at the five into the end zone, and once again, Texas will start first and 10 at its own 20 yard line. I'm not sure, but I don't think Texas has a first down yet, do they? We'll check with the, uh, our staff group here. 50 yards on the punt on Shaman. Texas have a first down yet? No, they do not. First and 10, Texas, at the 20-yard line. Again, if you just joined us, Mark McBath, starting quarterback for Texas, went out with looked like some sort of leg injury. He has been taken to the dressing room. John Ani is now in a quarterback for the Longhorns. The only scoring, a 46-yard field goal by Uba Von Shaman of Oklahoma. Oklahoma 3, Texas nothing. 326 to play in the first quarter. Here's Texas, high formation. Ani, Carroll Campbell, sweep right. Top in the backfield is going to be tough for a loss. Great penetration by the center defense. 85 on the tackle was Darrell Hunt, linebacker. Barry Berger, 26, in defensive end. Got in there early, though, and messed up the timing on the play. Loss on the play of a yard, second and 11 at the 19-yard line for Texas. Daryl Ray slowed him up a little bit, and that gave uh, Barry Burgett and uh, Daryl Hunt a chance to get in and uh, make the tackle on that play, Chris. Texas from its own 19-yard line. Earl Campbell has carried three, has carried five times for a total of three yards in the game so far. Pitch, again it is Campbell. Sweep left, has some blockers this time. Runs over the man at the 25 and the 26. Earl Campbell's best game. Darrell Hunt, 85, was the man who made the tackle, along with Zach Henderson, 19. Take a look at the outstanding Oklahoma linebacker, Darrell Hunt. Darrell Hunt's going to move over this way, and watch uh, Zach Henderson will slow Earl Campbell up just a little bit, and Darrell Hunt will uh, 
come in uh, to make the stop. Hunt from Odessa, Texas, and the junior. I tell you, Texas got some more problems. That is their quarterback, their second quarterback. Oh, boy. John Arney is down, and Steve, who would that bring in? We don't even have him on the chart. I'll tell you what, there are three freshmen, Sam Ansley, Sanford Coggins, and one of those two, I think, would be to come in. I would assume Sam Ansley, but I'm not sure. Oh, boy, they look like almost the same injury. Uh,